Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to another Auto Legends video, and today is going to be a deep dive about the Ford Probe. This is the newest car added to Auto Legends that has all the parts and stuff in Speed Lab, and you can actually race, which I think is awesome because I love this car. Fun fact, this car has only ever been licensed in one other video game. It was in The Road and Tracks, The Need for Speed, before EA owned the franchise for Need for Speed. It was a traffic vehicle. The 1989 Ford Probe was a traffic vehicle in the very first Need for Speed game. That is the only video game this car has ever officially shown up in and was licensed, making Auto Legends only the second game to ever have this car licensed in the game. How awesome is that? I I love the fact that the Ford Probe has that pedigree and that it's, you know, that crazy of a car. So anyway, let's run over to Speed Lab. We're going to do a test drive uh, with the Ford Probe uh, just to see what it does stock. And then I'm going to show you guys the 706 horsepower build, which seems to be max horsepower. And then I'll show you what we think is the best horsepower build for this car. Now... Take all this with a grain of salt. Also, remember that the game is still in alpha stages. So everything and anything you see in these videos, these very early videos, this is alpha stages of the game. Any of this can change at any time. So let's do a quick run and just see what this car can do down the quarter mile on the new racetrack, on the new test drive track. Love this track. It's so freaking cool. We'll see what this can do and give it a go i'm not going to even use the nitrous in this we're just going to see what it does completely bone stock i'm going to try to get that launch point about 67 percent yeah so we're going to launch it now we do want to remember we did also introduce bracket racing with this update and i do want to give bracket racing the credit it deserves for um, just an explanation video, that deep dive video, I'm probably going to bring in my friend Bevins. You guys can follow him on Twitch or YouTube. I'll try to throw his links in the description down below. He hosts a lot of community events for auto legends, but he also races a ton in real life. So I want to bring him in for a proper explanation video for the deep dive video about bracket racing, because I don't want to get anything wrong, but that'll probably be the next video or two. Who knows? But let's start building the Ford Probe. So we saw it did like 14s, I think is what I saw. We're going to build the 706 horsepower setup. So right now, you can see if we go over to performance, we want to do four, three, and then fours across the board. So the way that we do build explanations in the community is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We basically just number each item. And then now we just want fours across the board. There we go. We're just going to build this up, which I think is pretty awesome. We want four, four, three here. So I need to slide over just a little four, four, three. Now fuel system, you want to do number four. You could do number three, but you're missing a little bit of power. And then you actually want to do an intercooler. You want to do the six horsepower intercooler and you can do a DV if you want. I don't think they really do much right now. You want to go to the supercharger and install the supercharger. From there, let's go to cooling. You want to do the radiator number two. You want to do exhaust. You want to do fours across the board. I've built this car so many times already just in testing. Electronics, four and four. Nitrous, always want that good old 100 shot. And then you want the lightest suspension and drivetrain. This is where it gets a little bit weird with the uh, explanation using numbers. We always start at clutch because drivetrain, at least right now, doesn't have anything here. So you want to do four, one. This one's confusing. Four, one, four, two, four. Then tires. There is a glitch with getting more grip um, with the tires. And since this is a front-wheel drive car, it does massively impact this car. So I'm going to kind of explain that here. 
Um, this will be fixed hopefully in the next update, 0 0.7.4 or whatever version number we decide to tag it with. So you want to put the Hoosier drag slicks on first. And then that's your 700 horsepower setup. We're going to check out. Make sure you click your little button if you're a newbie. Every eight hours you can click this and it gives you some gold and some cash. And there we go. I am at 533 because I'm on the wrong tire, but we'll take care of that. So you want to go to tuning, you want to go to stance, and you want to take your wheels. That's fine. Just make them as big as possible. Do it front and back. Rear, come on. 8, 20, 55. Now go back. Change your tires. Put on these ones. And you actually get more grip this way. And now I'm going to show you the best stancing setup for right now with a front wheel drive car. We're going to go back to stance. We're going to go, or tuning, then stance. You want to slam it. And then everything as low of a number as you can put it. This will change in the future, I promise. We are working on it. Don't worry. Cars will not always be forever like this once the game comes out. And is out of alpha stages or beta stage. This will be fixed. We are working on it. So we go from there. And so far, that's the best stance setup you can do for a front wheel drive car. We are at 706 horsepower, 598 for torque, and 2863 for weight. Now, when it comes to gear ratio tuning, I know this confuses a lot of people first off. But what you want to do is just kind of make everything even. So all I've really done when it comes to tuning this car, and it seems like these are the best gear ratios, is fix that fifth gear that's really long. I like to put it to like 105, maybe 103, 102. We'll put it to 102. And then sixth gear is pretty much fine, but you want to adjust your final drive. You want to take this all the way down to like 270. And that's about the best you can get. Well, without getting really into the weeds with it. So, as a lot of people have realized on this game, there are two different tracks for determining how fast you can actually go in a car. Most people will race on 6th Street Bridge for head-to-head, -head, because there's the little downhill dip at the end of the track. So if you hit that downhill, obviously it makes you a little faster because you're going downhill, which is pretty realistic. 706, let's go. We're going to see what this thing runs straight out the gate. So when you change gear ratios, it kind of changes where you rev. But I'm going to use the mouse for this so we can rev accurately. And just overall, try to launch it accurately. And we'll look at my quarter mile when we're done here. So 78% seems about where it wants me to be. We're going to launch. A lot of people no rev launch this car. You want to wait until fourth gear to launch. And then the shift point is kind of like right smack dab in the middle of the RPM gauge at the very top of the gauge. Now you can see I ran a 10.599. We'll do one more run here just to show it off. We're going to do one more. 10.599. Okay, ET. But it's not the fastest ET. And you can even see that through the rev range. That it kind of bounces around. It seems like it's missing grip or something like that. That's why this horsepower is not the fastest setup. So we're going to go 78. 79. Here we go, fourth gear. I used nitrous too early, but that's okay. For this just demo run real quick. And there we go. It should be another 10.5, 10.63 because I used nitrous a gear too early. I'm going to show you the fastest setup now. Um, so you want to go in, you want to change the turbo. And you want to go into your engine internals. Go to rods, do number two. And then I believe it's three. Yeah, it's three for piston. We're going to change that. I'm doing this off of memory. I'm so sorry. 674. So that should be our best horsepower. 
you might want to adjust your gear ratio just a little bit. I'm going to do 280 for final drive. And we're going to go test it. Let's see what we run now. So this will slightly change the rev percent. It'll still probably be 75, 76% maybe. Might be actually higher. Maybe it's 80%. I don't re I haven't paid attention that much yet. But 79, 80%. Yeah, we're going to go like, it's still 70, 78, 79. So we're going to go. And I use the gear too, or I use the nitrous too early again. <laughs> I am terrible for these tutorial videos. But as you can see, finished the race pretty much perfectly. Got that 10549. Now this is because my gear ratios need adjusted and I use nitrous way too early. Some of the best guys that have fully custom gear ratios for this thing are running 10.19s. I ran a 10.19 on my main account last night at yeah, 10.199 was my fastest. I haven't messed with it enough yet to try to get it down further. I think the best time so far in this car is 10.15. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. So we're going to use it in fourth this time. Thank you. And there we go. Let's see what I run might need to lower the final drive ever so slightly. I might also try no rev. Because that's how everybody's running their fastest ETs in this thing, is no rev. Let me go just a little lower there. Let's see what I run with no rev. So there's a couple different ways that people race in this game. There's no rev, there's rev. Uh, there's probably going to be methods like... Uh, you know, drop launching. I'm sure people are going to have all their different ways. But we're going to no rev real quick. And we're going to launch pretty much as soon as we see the yellow. I use the nitrous third gear because I'm used to that from my other car. <laughs> I need to quit doing that. There we go. But as you can see, 10.349. I'm way faster with no rev on this car. So let's go over to 6th Street Bridge because this thing's pretty much good to go. Uh, I need to lower final drive ever so slightly because we're going to the bridge. There we go. And now let's go see what it runs at 6th Street. So, like I said, it's because of the downhill nature here. But, oh, hold on. There's a little glitch where if you join, sometimes nothing loads. You have to go back home and then you go back to the track. Give me one second here. And we'll get into 6th Street. Give me some bots. All I wanted to bats. Yeah, this loading time is taking much longer, which means the cars are loading. There we go. You jerk. Somebody stole my racer. We'll go with Sonya here. And we're going to do 5K because I know I'm going to win this. But like I said, this car is better for no rev. So let's see what I run real quick. And then that'll probably be a full video. I'll do one or two races here on 6th Street and we'll go from there. So if you guys are enjoying the game, let us know. Join the Discord. It's a bunch of fun over there. Bevins is hosting a ton of tournaments and such. I keep trying to help out. I'm more for like helping with technical issues. But uh, yeah. No, it's been a ton of fun. I'm enjoying posting the setups. I'm enjoying making these deep dive videos. You guys know me very well if you've been a longtime subscriber. I do not do series very well. They usually make it to four episodes. Uh, we're at number 14 with this car, which is insane for me. I don't have that kind of ability to normally stay on something for this long. But there we go. That might be like a 10-2. We're doing a very quick and dirty, oh, so I don't have sound turned on. I should have put my headphones on. That is a crazy foul. Yo, point zero zero. Okay. So it was still at 10.36, which this was a very quick and dirty thrown together car. I'm not surprised that uh, I'm not very quick with it 
and we saw how that launch looked. It was a little bit strange. So we're gonna we're gonna do one more run, and that'll be a video. Hope you guys enjoy the Ford Probe. If you want me to try to make a bracket setup with this car, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So we're gonna do this one more run. And then that'll be it. Slow stage is slow. And go. I fouled a gun. We're just going to call it quits. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I may work on it all day, every day, but it doesn't mean I'm good. Did I foul? I bet I went early. Oh, no, I didn't. And, and three, five. Perfect reaction time. Wow. Cool. I'm actually good at this game. I was wrong. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.